Hey you guys, welcome to Justice Jenkins. If you are seeing me for the first time, I'm Jamila, stay at home homeschooling mama of three beautiful babies. I am also a certified Reiki practitioner and owner of HaleyMama.com. Today you guys, we're going to be talking about homeschooling. I've been wanting to do this video for a hot minute. So if you're new, we'd love to have you stick around, subscribe, ding the bell so you can get all of our notifications. And if you are one of our oldie but goodies, hey fam, hey. Okay, so I'm coming to you in the evening. We've had a pretty productive day doing lots of stuff, getting a lot of stuff done. And we are winding down for the night. My youngest, he's asleep and everybody else is just chilling, you guys. And it's like the quietest it's going to get. So I apologize for the lighting. My baby girl let me borrow her ring light. Okay, so I don't know what it's giving. Like from what I can see in the viewfinder, it looks dark. So we have been homeschooling now. This is our second year and it's been going pretty good. We had a big unexpected move and in the midst of all of that we're still doing our thing we were fortunate enough to be able to come stay with my parents and we do have a little space that we can have our school I will try to link like some old videos down so you can kind of see what we had back then but um, I'm just gonna show you like what's going on and for any encouragement if you are feeling like you are wanting to homeschool your children homeschool your child you guys it is not as hard and crazy as we make it out to be. Um, you do have to find out what your requirements are for your state. Here in Utah, it's pretty straightforward. Like you just contact the school district, you let them know and fill out a form, you get it notarized, let them know that you want to homeschool your child, homeschool your children, and every year they just send you the form and if it changes, you choose to send them back to school. Um, you just have to put in the paperwork and it's pretty easy and also here like if you are a homeschool child and you want to participate in school activities like either if it's with the school district or with a charter school they can participate in activities we haven't done that yet um but maybe in the future because I and my husband we both participated in music programs and I did sports and I really would like them to participate in stuff like that so we'll see um right now I'm not using like a curriculum I've before I looked and I saw like different people were using these different curriculums and stuff. I haven't really gravitated towards one. Like a lot of them seem like they're like based around religion and that is like not me. Like I still, I know they'll still get what they need to get, but it's just not what I'm into. So um, I haven't chose any of those. So right now and for the last year, um, we have been using education.com. I'm actually not even sure how I stumbled across them. Like I was pinning a lot of stuff on Pinterest and using a lot of things there. And I think somehow I got put onto education.com through them, like through something I had pinned on Pinterest. It's a monthly subscription. I can't remember exactly how much it is, but it's between 10 and $15 a month. And it's got some awesome stuff on there. A lot of teachers use it. They do follow Common Core standards, you know, and I am still searching for other things because it's like if I wanted them to follow exactly that, they'd just be going to in-person school or whatever. But for the time being, like it's been really helpful. I found some really awesome resources on there and they have really nice interactive lessons and games and the kids seem to like it for the most part <laughs> so um just sitting right here next to me i have some bins that i purchased and i'm just going to be sharing with you um and I just have these like here, you know, so we can have our stuff handy and we do like have our little bookshelf and I'll kind of show you that area after. So before I get into the bins, I will say I have a third grader, I have a first grader and I have a pre pre K preschooler. <laughs> a good old Dollar Tree bin right here. I've had this bin for a while. I just have like some miscellaneous stuff in here. So I do have these little dollar, this Dollar Tree caddy that's in here that just has some random miscellaneous stuff. We have our, I decided this year for math that I was going to get Jackson some counting cubes and these have really helped. I'll leave all the links for everything below. Like these are really awesome. 
Um, and you can use these not just for adding and subtracting, you can build with these. So it's like um, working on motor skills and stuff like that. We've got um, sight word cards, and then this card back here came with the um, counting cubes. One side is for subtraction, one side is for addition. You can write the problems here in the boxes, and then you put the cubes on what you want up here, like um, to subtract and take away and add and all those things. It's really handy. And I really like that. And it came with dry erase markers and some stickers and stuff like that. And so we just have that chilling, got a little Play-Doh, okay, for the baby. You got to have the Play-Doh. And then this is our reading basket. I actually literally just took the books back to the library yesterday. But um, I've been getting... Um, library books for them this year we have a lot of books but I kind of just wanted to like switch it up and I didn't want to buy a lot of books even though I'm planning on homeschooling them for the long haul I didn't want to just keep buying books because we have a lot of books we were gifted books and you know throughout their life we've been buying books and I also have some books from when I was a kid that I have given them so we have tons of books you guys I actually need to get rid of some books so um I really like and I suggest utilizing your library because I really like that I can call my library and I'll tell them I have a third grader I have a first grader I have a pre-k and this is kind of the theme that I'm going on like our the books that I just took back were fall theme books and stuff like that and then we've got Jackson's readers and then we've got chapter books for Jeunesse and stuff like that and so I really like that they put that together and then Jet he's really into like machinery and stuff like that so he had trains and he had semi truck books it was really awesome so utilize your library you guys and I love that I call them and then a couple days later after they've put it together and they they're really like thoughtful and mindful about putting that together for us Ben is my first graders bin I found these bins at Big Lots I love these I don't know if I can leave them below okay but if I can maybe I will they are so nice they have two handles the kids they're easy for the kids we had these dollar store bins but they were like so top heavy I'm trying to figure out something to use them for but for the time being these are working out great and all the kids they have a clipboard in their bin and then they have these dry erase boards I found these at the Dollar Tree um, sometimes I'll just have you know write words and have um, Jackson write them and read them and stuff like that or have him write his name or do hit math problems on here just like whatever I just felt like this came in really handy and then we're not constantly always sitting at the desk like we just kind of go you know go with the flow sometimes they do their schoolwork in their room sometimes they do it downstairs sitting at the table or um, we'll do it in my room it just depends but it's just so they have somewhere to write and they have a little desks as well and so we have been using this book I got this off of Amazon um, Jackson is really really good at math and with numbers but I feel like he just lacks a little confidence about reading but this book is called the reading lesson teach your child to read and 20 easy lessons you guys if I had known about this book when we started in kindergarten and even in preschool I would have gotten this if I had known about this in kindergarten I would have gotten this like this has increased his confidence so so much and just going over basics because I feel like in first grade like you are implementing new things you're learning new things but you are reviewing everything that you learned in kindergarten so this helps a lot so I really highly recommend this book um, the first part of it is just like like teaching you how to teach your child and it works like okay and then um we have this little discount store in our area and i found this cute little little leaders book um exceptional men in black history i thought this was so cute 
and we have this and we've been reading, reading a few things out of this and um as we get more into different sections i think this is going to come in real clutch okay and then of course we got sight words on deck you know sight words we're working through these and then soon here like maybe next month we're gonna get um bigger sight words so we've been working on those and then he just um has this he doesn't really use this he used to do this in um, for his morning work. I'd have him trace his name. I got this idea from when Janessa attended school, just like so he could learn his name. He's got his name down pat. He writes his name great, but now we're just working on the last name. So I got this little printable off of Pinterest. Um, I'll try to leave the link below if I can find it because it was like a million pens ago. Um, so his first name is on this side, and then he's got his first and last name on that side. So we're just really working on learning the last name in addition to the first name you know what i'm saying so we're working on that and then everybody has a pencil in their bin they did have a dry erase marker but i do not know where mr jet put the dry erase markers so i'm trying to find those but we haven't really been using our dry erase boards that much but then he has a number chart one through 100 and then um, I think my mom gave this to me. She used to work for the school district and she gave it to me. And so on this side, it's listed and then the other side it's blank. And so I'll just have him go in with the dry erase marker and write it and go up as high as he can. And um, I haven't finished erasing it from the last time he used it. So that's Jackson's bin. And basically I just have these so if I can if I tell them to go get something out or whatever but they don't always use these every single day but it is just a place to keep the stuff that they are going to use pretty much every single day and then this is my princess's bin it's in royal purple because she's a princess okay and she's got the same thing her little dry erase board her clipboard, she's got a pen in here, a pencil in here, she got a little Halloween pencil, she's got some lined paper, I was doing like a vocabulary words on this and writing it out and then doing the definitions, but baby, education.com came through and I don't have to do that no more. <laughs> but if we have like a spelling test or something, if I don't have her do it on her little dry erase board, I will do it on the lined paper. We have um, this how to be good at math workbook in there I'm still on the fence like if I like this I think my mom picked this up at um, Sam's Club and she gave this to us last year I'm on the fence guys like I'm on the fence I'm on the fence you know what I'm saying like I don't know we're still using it though and then she has the little leaders exceptional or excuse me old women in black history my mom had got this, so that's what sparked my interest to get the other one. She came through, and so Janessa has been reading about these beautiful melanated queens up in here, trailblazing in history, okay? Because um, I always tell her, it's funny, when she has her fro out, I'm always like, Angela Davis, Angela Davis, you look like Angela Davis. And she's like, who that? And so now she knows who she is. <laughs> Um, and then last but not least, we've got the little baby boys bin. And his bin, we got an oldie but goodie, guys. Boom, chicka boom, chicka chicka boom boom. I said boom, I was gonna say boom chicka pop like the popcorn, but that ain't it. <laughs> chicka chicka boom boom. We had a bigger version that used to read to the big kids. Got this for him last Christmas, just so you know he can be on his ABCs, okay? And then he got him a little workbook. And you know, when I I spend most of the time with the big kids doing their stuff, but you know, sometimes if he's not playing with his toys and he wants to feel included too, he's got his stuff. And let me tell you, Mr. Jet, he learning his ABCs. Like he ain't playing with nobody. Okay. He likes his work. He likes to do his workbook. He's like, Where I wanna do my school. Like, he'll say it real quick. And he got his little clipboard and his little um, dry erase board on deck, too. So he can feel a part of it. Um, we're going to focus more on, like, actually having some stuff for him next year. Okay? Um, you guys. 
this good old like highly recommend you guys a file folder i have had this thing since i was 19 years old i used to use it for like papers like important papers and documents and stuff and it was just basically sitting at our old house collecting dust and i was like i need to be using this so i repurposed it for our school lessons um we've got our worksheets in here that we work on and the thing that i love about education.com like yes you can get worksheets but they have workbooks and we do se sections and stuff like that um, I do have things that are just for the first grader and things that are just for the third grader and we do do sections together like we did a section on Utah we did that together and we've been learning about the body and stuff last year and a little this year um, we're gonna move on to another section and do it together and stuff like that but I've just been keeping their workbooks in here and um, keeping them separated this is what it looks like there's so much in here you guys and then when they get done with their worksheets and stuff and their lessons I just keep it back here just so um we can refer back to anything and just kind of see like where they're at I do grade them and give them progress reports and stuff like that so they know you know and we go over everything but um I will show you a few of the workbooks um this is one for Jeunesse right here this is for um vocabulary and this is for third grade and so you just print it off and we have a printer with colored ink and everything and so this is what she's been working on this week um I'll just go in and all the different things that we're working on I'll just get their stuff out I put it on their clipboard and either I'll put it in here and tell them, you know, when you get done with breakfast or you get done, sometimes I give them some time to hang out in the rising, but I've been cracking down lately. I'm like, nope, let's do your work. And I'll put like their stuff on their clipboard, you know, just let's get our stuff done so we can hang out and relax and do life school okay like there's tons to learn in life so i mean i have things in there for them um jackson he's been learning fractions janessa's working on multiplication and she we did a section together where we um learned about utah we finished that we learned about the bird we learned about the flower we learned about the in some of the indigenous i got books from the library they put those together for us so we've been having an interesting time but like i like i said i'm still kind of looking for a curriculum that i just absolutely love and if i don't find it it's fine but it's very important to me for them to learn life skills you know, because, you know, anybody can memorize these facts. Anybody can do We just feel very fr strongly about them learning life skills. And I have looked, you guys, online for, like, a planner, like a homeschooling planner. I haven't really settled on one yet. Um, but for the time being, I had found this on Pinterest. And I printed the PDF. I um, downloaded the PDF. And, um printed this off if I can find this on my Pinterest I will leave it linked below but yeah the homeschool planner this was back before <laughs> we didn't have any colored ink maybe I'll go back and print it in color and we'll see but it just has different stuff like a calendar you can print it off and put it every month and I also use my um clever fox planner too just so I'm not um you know looking at multiple things but just so we have like a reference of what's going on for like whatever reason like if I needed to show something to the school district or whatever they can like see where they're at like I like to keep track of their progress and stuff so we have like a weekly docket semester goals field trip planner we've done a few field trips we didn't, haven't done any yet this year, but we're going to. Like, we've been, it's been, it's been a lot, you guys. Like, it's been a lot. Anyway, so that's like basically that they do a few things on the computer. We read, we watch videos, and getting out and living life too. And just learning different things. Like, I teach them 
cooking and cleaning and I need to get like more back into it like um I feel like everything just kind of like we were in this really good routine and with us moving and stuff everything just kind of got turned upside down but I'm just really thankful that we have a space and we have a place to be able to do it and that's the awesome thing about homeschooling like it doesn't matter where you are you can be in the city you can be living off grid like you can still do your thing so I really really love it and I'm going to continue and I can't wait to learn and grow. If you guys have any suggestions and um, tools or tips, tricks, whatever, let me know in the comments. Are you homeschooling? I am going to call it a night you guys because we've got one more day of school and I'm ready to get it wrapped up so once again if you are new we'd love to have you so stick around subscribe ding the bell so you can get all of our notifications and if you are one of our oldie book goodies hey girl hey hey boy hey hey y'all hey hey fam hey and we're gonna see you in the next one bye <laughs>